Well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Just Plain Living. I'm John Gray. Good morning. I'm Peggy Burton. And I'm Jim Fuller. How are things? Uh, how are you? You're welcome, okay. yeah, well, yeah, traveling. Yeah, yeah welcome back, know, Peggy. I'm Peggy's glad. been missing for a couple of weeks now. I've been, I'm still kind of missing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad to be back. Glad to be I'm always back. glad you to get home. Your, your son, General Burton, was instated he, or whatever, yeah, installed at a, a new post. It's called Assumption of Command. So he took command. So where is of, he now? It's uh, Aberdeen, Maryland. He's Maryland, at Aberdeen okay. Proving Ground where all the chemicals and stuff are tested and have been tested and they're stored there. That's so it. there's big signs. Do not walk in the tall, tall grass. You know, they used to drop things there oh chemicals and stuff mm -hmm. you don't eat the blackberries that grow there <laughs> oh really <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that sounds kind of tough <laughs> but it's nice what he, do the birds do they, they the don't live they long eat the <laughs> they don't live long can't go dove hunting can't around go dove there hunting, can you? No. <laughs> no it was very nice and i was proud well, i could good. be there well i'm sure yeah. you're proud shannon went leah hewlin went and, and how did you and get Layla there in the Grumpy's Bell Bondsman's van. <laughs> Great. Nobody gave us trouble. I would imagine. And not. If, if we got in jail, we had somebody there to bail you us out. Get up. You so get when up. you show up at one of these things and they know that you're the general's mother, they treat you pretty nice. They do. They yeah. they treat us really really nice. Yeah. We get flowers. We get recognized. And yeah. That's that's neat. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Cool. So, food pretty good. Food was great. Lots of good food. I can imagine yeah. that. I, I doubt generals eat bologna. At rest of <laughs> well, the sometimes they do, rest and sometimes. And you, I went in his apartment because his family lives in Clifton, Virginia, which is about two hours away, and he has an apartment on Chesapeake Bay on the base. And I opened the refrigerator, and I think there was two apples in there. That was it. <laughs> well, well, at least the general fine. eats healthy. You can tell by looking at him; he gets clean to eat. That Good sounds like you. that sounds like before I was married. You, <laughs> is that I, your refrigerator? Well, I had no apples in there, but about the only thing Couple in there. Of beers. Yeah, that's about all that's in there. So, you know, anyway. <laughs> but that's all you needed but at you that know, point. I, I don't ever have a full refrigerator. <clears throat> I always feel like if you can't see the back of my refrigerator, it's too something much. wrong. Yeah. <laughs> it's too much. Yeah. Sometimes we have. It depends on what's going on. Sometimes. If we're fixing for something, yeah, it'll be Yeah, if somebody's coming, if the, yeah, then if the kids are coming not, home, it'll be, yeah. Like you say, you look back in there. And my grandson turned 15 while I was there, and all of a sudden, a there, there boy, was no little boy. There was a grown man. Yeah, yeah. I, noticed, I noticed in the pictures <laughs> it's amazing. that he's, he's shot up about six or eight inches pretty quickly. <laughs> really, yeah. It is amazing that quick kids grow up. I know, you just you know, you point, blink your you know, eyes you know. and the childhood's gone. Well, there's that, there's that 14, 15, 13, 14, 15, depends on mm -hmm. your metabolism and, uh, you know, what, what's going on. But <coughs> all of a sudden, they just, they grow, I it's like they grow yeah. overnight. I remember when Bart was in seventh grade, he was going out for football. He, we just moved from London, and he, he was still little. And, he, and he, he went, but he came home, and he said, Mom, those guys will kill me. <laughs> <laughs> but he soon grew out of that. Yeah, <laughs> soon grew yeah. out of it. Yeah, big time. Yeah. Yeah. It's good. Go Speaking of sports, the uh, the Tennessee girls, I've gotten into watching girls softball. Yeah. I just sort it's of. It's getting exciting. Fell in on it one day, and Tennessee was playing, and doggone if they hadn't gone all the way through, and they're Absolutely. playing in, the, in mm -hmm. the World Series, college women's World Series, and got beat last night. But they've still got another shot. It's two well, out of three. Yeah, it's two, two out of three. Yeah. But, but they were playing uh, uh, Oklahoma, who is the number one team in the nation. And the girl pitching is the, for two years in a row, has been the most valuable player wow. in college, women's college softball. And they played, I think it's 12 innings last night. Yeah, I think, the, yeah, Tennessee yeah. lost in the bottom of the 12th. Bottom of the 12th. Yeah. And, and they was nothing to nothing. For 11 innings, and Tennessee scored three runs in the top of the 12th, and then uh, Oklahoma came back, and Tennessee was one strike away from winning that ball game. Oh my gosh, I didn't and watch it. Up, I wish I had. And ended up, yeah. Yeah, they ended up getting a hit and, and getting beat four to three. But it was in, it was a phenomenal, phenomenal game. You, Tennessee you, has got a great yeah, they do. Ball game. And you know, the strangest thing about, or I guess it's not strange if you follow it all the time, but in uh, women's softball, the pitcher can pitch every day, I think, in that, uh, 
can't they? I mean, well, and I don't understand that. Somebody's going to have to explain that to me. Well, some it, of those pitchers uh, pitched 150, 160 pitches. How well, they it, do it has to do with the like motion. Apparently, you know, of course, they can throw at 90 miles an hour underhanded. About but, 70. But, but uh, apparently that underhanded <clears throat> motion is more natural than it is in baseball where you're coming across. Coming across. And, uh, that way, so you know. Apparently, you can pitch every day if you need to. They said that girl, that girl uh, that was pitching for Oklahoma, equated her underhanded curveball. If it was, they said if it was equated to major league, it, she'd be throwing at about 103. Yeah, because oh yeah, because it's only 60 feet in softball, yeah. I think, in, in that correction. So it's getting there a lot quicker than it is in baseball. So I wonder what kind of kind of damage that does to a pitcher's arm. Do they? Have well, not 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 at all. It, not not har it? hardly at all. Not for women. Not yeah. where they're throwing it underhand. That's what we were just talking about. It's, it's the overhand that yeah, makes yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like you say they're pitching. I mean, that one little gal. There's two sisters that pitch for ten. And the younger one is pitched. I mean, they just pitch one day, go right out there the next day and pitch again. Yeah. Unless they're just, I mean, that one ball game a couple of days ago was 15 innings long. Wow. And I mean, they played for six hours. Yeah. Five hours or something. No, that girl didn't pitch the next day because she's wore out. She's probably still in bed. Probably, <laughs> yeah. Because I think they played till about 2 o'clock in the morning. Oh, my goodness. I think Vanderbilt's doing really well too. They won last night uh, over Georgia Tech, and uh, apparently are in the final, whatever that is in college baseball. I can't yeah. remember that. Yeah, they're doing they're doing a good job. <coughs> Vanderbilt's having a resurgence in a lot of yes, they a lot of ways. are. They I'm had proud a, they of that. Good football season, and mm -hmm. they're talking about doing work to the stadium. And I mean, evidently, they made enough money to spend some money on the stadium up there. So. I think they've always had the money, but <laughs> <laughs> not enough interest. <laughs> yeah, it was the interest, yeah. but I think this new football coach is really giving them a spark there, and uh, they're paying him decent money, and, um, and they're paying and, him good and, money. And, and things, and things are happening. Them. Yeah. And uh, speaking about baseball, how did Brian? Did Brian pitch last night? Didn't get in last night. Brian Morris uh, from Tullahoma pitched uh, pitched for the Pirates the other day. Oh. And pitched three. Scoreless innings uh, against the uh, against the Reds and uh, best hitting team in the major league, <coughs> and the Pirates won in the eleventh inning. So good mm -hmm. for Brian. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I mean, that's that's I great think he's work the real deal. Him. He's gonna make. Yeah, it. yeah. He I will. mean, they're, yeah. they're they're throwing him in there. So that's that's good for him. Congratulations yeah, to him. So it's you know that's exciting you know when you've got uh, major leaguers from Tullahoma. I Tullahoma, know. Tennessee. Think about that. We got yeah. a lot of good things happening with people from Tullahoma. We do. We do. Dustin things Lynch has Dustin been nominated Lynch's. for a CMA award. I think some. I just barely caught that, and uh, I am best so looking kid. Best on, looking on, kid on in the country. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really proud of him. Proud of him. You, you, you wanted to job. talk about South Jackson Goes Country. I Man, just got we to told you it. you couldn't, but we were of course. You're gonna let me it. talk about yeah, it a little we bit. We sure. Well, yeah. we're doing auditions this week, so I, I, we don't care what you do. Just show up. So that's <laughs> there's, that's there's a little criteria, but not much. We're having auditions Sunday at two o'clock at South Jackson Civic Center Auditorium, and again Monday starting at six. And if you're going to be out of town on a cruise or something. Call the Civic Center and we'll give you another date prior to that. We're not auditioning after that. Once it's done on Monday, it's done. Okay, so, so that, you means, be on this that show. means if you're going to be gone then, it's yeah. this week. Exactly. But you've got to get, got to to get you in there this week. week. Okay. How tough is it for you, Peggy, when somebody's just not good enough and you have to go say, sorry, you didn't make uh, the well, cut? Well, you know, I just have to say it. <laughs> oh, really? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's just what you have to do. Uh, but most people, you know, that come are good and can, yeah. we can use them somewhere in the show yeah. and uh, it's a great opportunity to get some on stage experience. John writes a lot of the music. Yeah. I'm so proud of him. Gosh. He I does. don't know about that. He does. But thank you. I yeah, appreciate you're welcome. it. Appreciate it. But we're looking for comedians. I wish we could find some great comedians. We have a few. But we're looking for comedians, dancers, singers, pickers. Anything you want to do, and, walk and, on. And wh what's good? What's so much fun about the country show is, is there's a bunch get together and writes all the commercials. Oh yeah. Yeah. And so the commercials are as much, of as much interest, 
as a lot as the show because a lot of people come for the commercials sort of like watching the Super Bowl right yeah. you wait you for know, the commercials the commercials are great and, and we and appreciate our sponsors that oh, continue to yes. sponsor us every year and I should have a list in my head but I know I'd leave someone out but people buy commercials for us to do on stage and, right. and they're fun to do and, yeah. and the thing about that is for you folks out there there's a lot of people involved in these commercials yeah. and you don't have to be a singer or a player you, you can, can be, just walk you can on be and involved do a in the commercials, yeah. <laughs> and there's liable to be 30 kids in band uniforms. You just, you know, you just don't know what's going to take place, and it's a whole lot of fun. And, it is a lot and, of fun. And, and yeah. The thing about it is, not very few people that are in the show performing are in the commercials because there's not enough time. You know, there are some of the performers in the commercials, right. but there's a whole commercial crew. Right, that has to that's put together, be on the that spot. Has, that has to be on the spot and change clothes and be ready to do those things, and yeah. it's a lot of fun. I think that you guys happen. actually use a live band for that, right? It's, oh my gosh, part, we would be recorded. dead in the water without our live band, which yeah. is uh, put together by Tim Hedge and Kenny Rand. Kenny writes the charts and. Both of them are geniuses, and I don't know how Tim Hedge ever has the time to do this because, you know, he's in Nashville playing for all kinds of great artists, and he comes home and does this for us to raise money for South Jackson. And, and the, uh, the Kenny's boys, boys, Kenny's play. boys, Brandon and uh, Blake. Blake. All of a sudden I was going to say Luke, but it, Blake, I'm, they're both fantastic, and, uh, and hopefully and we have them again. And John Fly, Jonathan Fly, Jonathan we've been on the fiddle, to have who I've known since he was this high. I'll never forget the first time I saw Jonathan. He had a fiddle this long, yeah. And, yeah. and he was this high, yeah. and he was filling up a storm. And then uh, who's, who's oh, our... Uh, 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 Petrunic, Jeff. Petr Jeff, Jeff Petrunic. Petrunic on steel guitar. He's on steel guitar. He's, like, He's he a plays genius. just about anything. He's a genius. Anyway, yeah, so come out and audition. A lot of fun. Or just show up. We'd love to have you. A lot of fun. And we're going to have a lot of fun with the rest of this show here in just a minute, folks. Don't you go away. We have a great show for you today. We'll be right back after these few commercial messages. Let the smokehouse be your mountain getaway destination in beautiful Monteagle, Tennessee. Enjoy our cabins, restaurant, and old general store. Shop the smokehouse.com featuring homemade barbecue sauces, jellies, and many other fine Tennessee products. Our live Music on the Mountain series features some of the best local and Nashville talent every Friday and Saturday night, 6.30 p.m. No cover, kids welcome. The highest standard of trust offers a sense of safety and comfort. It's established over time. You know when you see it. You know when you feel it. There's a standard of trust in healthcare. It's the Joint Commission Gold Seal of Approval. In 2003, Life Care Center of Tullahoma voluntarily achieved this accreditation and maintains it still today. Life Care, meeting a higher standard because residents matter most. family's favorite show shouldn't have to fight to be seen. With Charter, you get four DVRs. So now every family member can watch what they want, when they want, where they want, without any battles. Call now to get DVR service for your home. Welcome back to Living. I am so excited today because it's time for the dog on the show. And uh, Teresa Holt is here. And Teresa, you are director I'm the supervisor Sup of animal control. Of animal control. Yes. And I'll let you introduce Kevin and tell what he's doing here with that dog. Yeah, this is our officer, uh, Kevin Whipple, and uh, he is uh, kind of new with us. And he is holding Miss Little Prissy, and I'll let him tell you a little bit about well, her. How old is Prissy? Uh, Prissy's a little over a year. <clears throat> uh, she's so calm. Yeah, she's a very calm dog. She's got a real good temperament. Uh, we picked her up over on uh, on Washington Street as a stray. Yeah. And uh, we just, well, she come in and she was just a sweetheart. And you uh, loved her ever since. Oh, yeah. I see don't. she's dressed up for the country show. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> did you do that? Oh, uh, yeah. I we, love we, it. Yeah, I love we, it. We, we did that. Prissy. Prissy. Do you have any idea how old she is? 
Uh, she's a little over a year old. So she's would she's, live a long time. With she's got. Me. She's gonna live and a while. And she appears to me from watching her around the studio that she would be good with elderly as well as children. Oh yeah, she'll be good because with both. Because she's very mm -hmm. quiet and she seems to be uh, trained. Oh yeah, yeah. So she's she's real thing. calm dog. So how long have you been there, Kevin? How oh, I've been here uh, right I mean, around with the group. With the group about uh, pretty close to two months. You like it? Oh, I love it. I can tell. <laughs> yeah, I we love, love it. you because you love the animals <laughs> and they, yes. they, they I love need to be here. somebody that really cares. Yeah, Teresa, really I know great. there's some events coming up, so so that we don't forget, go ahead and tell okay. us about them. Uh, we're just going to cover the month of June because we have so many coming up. Uh, this Friday, we're going to be at State Finance doing Adopt-A-Dog, um, June 7th. So you have all the dogs available? No, we'll have several dogs out, okay. but we'll also have Kevin at the shelter. <laughs> Uh, so so we can send go. people down. Uh, we'll have a packet for them to look through and if they see something of interest. And what time then does they, it start? It's going to uh, start at 11 o'clock. We're going to end at 3 and State Finance is going to provide free popcorn and drinks. Nice. And it's right there by, in, by Food Line in the Food Line parking lot. Which is, is that Lincoln Street? Yes. Maybe Lincoln yes. Street. Lincoln yes. Street. Mm -hmm. And by, by Food Line, sort of in that big Yes, there. at State Finance. And so if you want to adopt a dog, can you go home with a dog that day? Most definitely. And uh, what all comes with the dog? A $35 adoption fee, um, like with Prissy here, well, every dog adopter from the Tullahoma Animal Shelter gets a free spay or neuter with a $35 adoption fee. That's great. Um, some have been vaccinated, some have not. Um, and you know a lot of them have been vet checked um, we're going to have some babies coming available in about four weeks so if you're looking for a baby babies. baby uh, yep. a little terrier mix a box of babies <laughs> <laughs> yes we have two other pregnant mothers who yeah. are soon expecting soon so we right now our numbers are really high in the shelter uh, after memorial day we've probably brought in about 20 25 wow. dogs yeah. So we've doubled the number of dogs and adoptions. I guess with everyone on vacations kind of went yeah. down a little bit this month. I, I know that during these hot months, it's really important to make sure the dog has fresh water and certain things. To tell me what the dog needs. Well, uh, we, we like to provide them. Uh, we like to keep them. Our shelter's air conditioned very good. Oh, that's uh, nice. Yeah, so we, we try to keep them. Uh, you know, where they can go in and out and stay cool if they need to. Uh, we, we do provide fresh water every day because yeah, it's, you know, fresh and cold for them. Sure. And uh, we, we just put up uh, this shade for it's them. It's amazing the, to me the best we can. how you take such great care of so many animals. And it's sad to me that anybody would ever let a dog loose on the oh, road yeah. just right. for somebody. And luckily you find them often. I know yes. there are times when you don't. And, and some are just lost dogs, and you'd be surprised at the number of people who finally call and say, we were not aware that we had a shelter. Right. Um, so if you're missing a dog, please come please check come at the shelter. What, how, what are the hours and, there at the shelter? Okay, right now, since we're short-staffed, um, Monday through <coughs> Friday, 7 to 4.30, and then Saturday, 7 to 3.30. And if there was um, somebody that did not fit your schedule at all, would you make arrangements if it was important? For yes, them to if come they could call, yes, most definitely. Because sometimes we have people come from out of state and we may meet them on a Sunday. Uh, but going back to the, the hot weather, um, you know, pet owners need to be very cautious during the hot summer. Um, they always need to provide fresh water, food, and, a, and, and shelter. Cooler place to sleep. And, yeah, the best I idea is to take them inside, but for those outside dogs, to make sure they have the necessities yeah. they need. And you can even put some ice cubes in their water bowl outside. That'll help a little bit to keep that to water keep cool a little cool. Prissy seems to have found somebody that she loves already. <laughs> <laughs> she does. Can you, will you be able to let her go? <laughs> oh, I hope so. <laughs> I, I had wondered if possibly she didn't belong to somebody and somebody may be calling up looking for their dog but she didn't have a collar when you no. found her i would say probably 95 percent of all dogs who enter our shelter do not have collars and very few have tags or oh, microchips and we should mention the fact that they need their shots and they also need yes. chicken flea medicine 
Yes, they do. Once a month, is that sort of? Um, talk with your vet um, regarding, because there's a lot of new products out there right now for um, now, I wouldn't ask that ticks. question. I just have cats. I don't have a dog right now. But uh, this medicine that you buy over the counter, or you can get it from the vet for ticks and fleas, is mm -hmm. the one you get from the vet stronger, better? Is Does it matter? Um, or is it I would talk with my that? vet. <laughs> Yeah, I, I would definitely talk with my yeah. vet because um, I have heard that, you know, you see on Facebook where people's pets have gotten sick from using from over using the counter. Over the counter. And I'm not saying that that's necessarily true. Um, true, uh, but I would definitely uh, yeah. check with my vet and They're see what they the recommend. They're giving me the big X, so it's time for us to go, and it seems like there's an awful lot we need to talk about. Any last word real quick? Uh, one other thing, uh, Grace Baptist Church on June 29th. We're going to be holding our second annual Miss Tallahoma Firecracker beauty pageant. Uh, Whitney Scott with Pool and Spa Express has raised about fifteen thousand wow. dollars already That's uh, because we need a new shelter. We need more space. So we'll be watching for that. Yes, and we are no killer, yeah. and we're running out of we're out of space. And so we remember, need more space. call that number if you're interested in a dog or go by the shelter. Thank you, guys. Thank Teresa, you. Always good to see you, Kevin. Thank you. Thank congratulations you. on getting a job that you love. <laughs> Thank you. We'll be back. I love it. What is Rotary? We're a network of people like you. In fact, we're the original social network. More than one million of us live just about everywhere you can think of. And we mean everywhere. We get together to exchange ideas, grow our businesses, and make new friends. We volunteer to help our own communities or someone else's. We're right around the corner. Come join us. The name is Rotary. Rotary International. You're welcome. This facility was built literally on the international dateline to bring charter customers tomorrow's technology first. Like Charter Internet, which was just made faster again. With speeds up to 100 megs, you can download a movie in two minutes. The number one internet service provider in the nation. Click. Fogelman, good luck with the presentation tomorrow. Already nailed it. Get Charter Internet Express for only $19.99 a month. All right, folks, uh, you know, there's a lot of changes going on over on Cedar Lane, and the road's been blocked over there for a couple of weeks, so I thought I'd go over and just take a little video, show you what's happening over there, and uh, get an interview with the superintendent and find out what the schedule is. So it's kind of interesting. Uh, this is a little video on the construction on Cedar Lane. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm at Cedar Lane at where the road is closed and the, the road construction is taking place. And uh, we're widening this road here been closed for about two weeks and what we're going to do is walk around and look at how things are going here and see if we can get an interview and find out about the progress and how long this is going to take. As you can see it looks like they're widening both sides here and drainage, new drainage is being put in and uh, this is going to be a brand new road back in here for Tullahoma going to be widened up from the Jackson Street all the way Airport Drive right here. You can see how the road is being widened. Utility poles have been moved. Drainage ditches are being put in. You can see this bulkhead right here. And then there's drainage all the way down to get the water off. You can see as we look down toward Jackson Street how this is widened up and there's culvert work being done and ready to get us back on this road. One of the things that people don't understand is all the utility work that goes into one of these jobs. There's everything from gas lines to power lines and all the sewers, storm sewers and water that needs to be gotten out. And you know, that's why a lot of these jobs take a long time is because there's certain criteria that has to be gone by. After you pour one set of concrete, how long does it have to set up before you can pour the next set? So it's a, it's a very, very time-consuming operation. 
This is the area where the bridge has been added on to to help widen this road. And I don't know whether they're going to have to add on to the other side as well. But we'll see if we can get some information on that. And as you can see by the dozer work going on in the grass at Tractor Supply, that turn lane that's being installed will come all the way down through here and tie in right here to this bridge abutment and go right down through here and expand all the way up and down to Airport Drive. We're moving dirt, adding rock and making this road wider here. A lot of work going on. We're going to get the superintendent to visit with us in just a minute and give us an update. All right, folks, I'm with Chris Brothers now with Josh Lefevre Construction, and he's going to give us a little report on how things are going here on Cedar Lane. Chris, how are things looking? Things are coming along pretty good, coming together pretty nice. Uh, when, when we end up here, we're going to have a, a three-lane road? Uh, yes, sir, for the most part. It'll have a turn It'll have a turn lane in the center where people can get in and yes, out, get in and out. out. Mm -hmm. And I think, what, sidewalks on one side, maybe? Uh, sidewalks on the uh, north side. On the north side. Uh, north side um, lane. I know we've had a wet spring, and, and it's been hard for y'all to get a lot of stuff done. Uh, about what do you have a target date on when you might have the road back open? Uh, yeah, it's been pretty wet through the winter and this spring. Uh, it's kind of got us behind a little bit, but we're with the dry weather here the last few weeks made a lot of headway to catch back up. Looks like probably middle of July we should be ready to open it back up and be done. Ready to go. Well, yes, Chris Lay, we appreciate your hard work and keeping all these guys going and making Telehome a better place. Uh, thank you for that, and good luck with uh, with meeting your dates. Yes, sir. Thank you. Telehome has been a great place to work. Let the smokehouse be your mountain getaway destination in beautiful Monteagle, Tennessee. Enjoy our cabins, restaurant, and old general store. Shop the smokehouse.com featuring homemade barbecue sauces, jellies, and many other fine Tennessee products. Our live Music on the Mountain series features some of the best local and Nashville talent every Friday and Saturday night, 6.30 p.m. No cover, kids welcome. The highest standard of trust offers a sense of safety and comfort. It's established over time. You know when you see it. You know when you feel it. There's a standard of trust in healthcare. It's the Joint Commission Gold Seal of Approval. In 2003, Life Care Center of Tullahoma voluntarily achieved this accreditation and maintains it still today. Life Care, meeting a higher standard because residents matter most. family's favorite show shouldn't have to fight to be seen. With Charter, you get four DVRs. So now every family member can watch what they want, when they want, where they want, without any battles. Call now to get DVR service for your home. All right, folks, we're back. And this last weekend in Tullahoma, we had our Soapbox Derby. And I am so proud to have with me today Merrill Meadows. And Merrill has brought three of the winners in here with her. And, and what year was this of the Soapbox Derby? This Merrill? was our 14th year. 14th year. Yes. Wow. I, Doesn't seem like that long ago we were doing it for the first time. Uh, well, so I wasn't here then. Amazing this, how time flies. <laughs> this was my sixth one, and, and uh, this one was exceptional because we had some nice rain in there, so uh, I got to experience that. Um, these are our three winners of our divisions that we have. We mm -hmm. have a stock division, uh, which is for 7 to 13, and then we have super stock, which I believe is 9 to 17 now. I think they changed that. And then we have the masters, which is 10 to 17. Mm -hmm. So uh, we have a good age range here. And this here, this is uh, Caleb Woodcock. 
And Caleb, this was his first race. He's seven years old. And a winner in and his first race. And a winner. Race. He kept that. Uh, I want to say here that Cookville uh, normally has a race as well, but this year they didn't have their race for some logistical reasons. And so they came down to race with, uh, with us, and they really gave us a run for the money, I tell you. So this was Caleb's first win and first race with us and racing as a soapbox derby racer. So he was our stock division champion. Say hi. Hi. Did you have fun? Yes. Was it scary going down that hill the first time? No. No? What other stuff do you do at home that makes you not so scared? I don't know. Do you ride a bicycle? Yeah. Yeah. Not very much at all. Not much at all? I, t I don't know that I'd get in a car and go down the street like that. I have enough trouble going down the street in a car, <laughs> yeah. a real one. <laughs> in a real car. In a real uh, car. Um, this is Jacob Parrish. And Jacob, this was your first race as well. Is that correct? Yeah, and Jacob's from Cookville. And so he is our super stock champion. Um, there was, that was a really tough division. There were a lot of great racers in there, seasoned racers from our end. And uh, it, it, we were sitting there at the, at the table, the finish line, sitting there going, OK, who's going to do this one? So it was a really, really good, tight competition. And Jacob up, uh, pulled it through. And then our Masters is from Tullahoma. Yay! We got one in there. Uh, this is Dylan Sanders. And Dylan, um, this was your first time racing Masters, but last year he, he raced stock. He raced in his division. Mm -hmm. So he skipped the whole division and moved up to Masters. And he did an awesome job. He won. And these are their trophies. Um, we do a first, second, and third trophy. And, uh, and these guys were just great doing right, that. Yeah. We had a total, I'm trying to think the total number of racers was, uh, with our super kids, we had about 57. So well, that's, uh, that's wonderful. Yes, it is. Yes, and it it's is. a long, it's a long, arduous day. Yes, it is. For those who prepare for it and, uh, and do that. And, you know, we, we want to say thank you to, to you and Kurt and the staff and, and all the volunteers who help make this happen. Because yes. It takes a whole lot of people to make this happen. It takes a village. That's takes right. Takes a village. <laughs> takes a village. Now, guys, how long have they been doing this in Cookville? Do you know? You just got involved. This was your both of y'all's first year. Well, you think you'll do it again? Yeah. Yeah. It's fun, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, I bet so. I bet so. And you've done been doing it for quite some time. Just two years. The two years now. Well, I tell you what, we have we have a little video mm -hmm. of you guys uh, winning your races, maybe, and then and uh, getting your trophies. So let's go to that video. First heat in the stock division championship. They're headed down the hill. Neck and neck. So this is the To the bridge. And headed for the finish line. It is a close one. It is very close. But it is good. And the only racer today to go undefeated. Caleb Woodcock. Great time, Caleb. Good job. You okay? All right, Your stock division is Jacob Parrish. In lane two, Trevor Madison. First heat in the Super Stock Division Championship. Great. 
That was great. That was great. You guys, guys did an awesome job. You did a great job. We're proud of all of you. Mm -hmm. You're going to come back. Uh, now, do they get to go further on? Yes, they do. What, what's their next step? Their next this? step is they're going to go to Akron, and they're going to race at the National Championships in Akron on June the 27th, I believe it is. National uh, Championships. In Akron, guys. Ohio. And yeah. then if they win from there, then, you know, you get scholarship money and things like that. So it's, it's a great thing. They get to go up for a week. They go see an Astro game they All they, right. go, they go spooring up there and having a great old time so and uh that we hope that they uh they went up there as well certainly and that's a real track you don't have to dodge the potholes so. <laughs> <laughs> well guys we're mighty proud of you and uh you go and represent us well up there in akron and have a big time and uh come back and see us with another trophy yeah. Or even if you don't get another trophy, come back and see us anyway, okay? Okay, Caleb? Is that okay? There you go. <laughs> Big smile. They're all of you. Thank you very much. Folks, we'll be right back. On the train test range, the search for any possible weakness continues. It's hard to stop a train. Really hard. Train, the most reliable for a reason. Hello, my name is Joe Stroop with Stroop's Accurate Refrigeration. I'm here to talk to you about a couple incentives that are going on between now and end of the year. First is your federal tax credit up to $300. Secondly, 0% financing up to 15 months on XL products. Third, spring promotion up to $1,100. Finally, $500 incentives from your local power distributor. Please give us a call at 455-8757. Thank you. So you've been meaning to do something healthy, commune with nature, get outdoors and meet new people. We have the perfect solution. Come hike with us. You can find a Tennessee Trails Association chapter near you, including Clarksville, Columbia Franklin, Cove Lake, Highland Rim, Jackson, Knoxville, Oak Ridge, Martin Weekly, Memphis, Murfreesboro, Nashville, Plateau at Crossville, Rugby in the Big South Fork, and Upper Cumberland. We're on the web at TennesseeTrails.org. It's fun, it's stress-free, and it's good for you. See you on the trails. If you like HDTV, you're going to like what Charter's been up to. Adding so much free HD that Charter TV is a whole new experience. National Geographic HD, Animal Planet HD, Discovery HD, Sports in HD, Movies, News, Kids Programming. Plus, Charter now has thousands of free movies and shows in HD on demand anytime. You want to see more TV in HD? Try Charter. It's smarter. City Hall in Manchester, Tennessee, oh. where the Girl Scouts, I think it's Girl Scout Troop 507, uh, put together a uh, landscaping project in front of uh, the City Hall there in honor of uh, the area veterans, the Coffee County veterans, and they dedicated that this past Saturday with uh, uh, a little musical, uh, some musical numbers and also uh, some comments from various members of the Girl Scout troops there. We want to bring that to you right now.
like to welcome you to the dedication of our Veterans Garden. Thank you for taking the time to attend. It means a lot to us. As Girl Scouts, we desire and are required to participate in service to our community. We considered several different projects and decided to create a garden to honor our local veterans. We wanted to recognize those men and women who serve or have served our country. We are forever grateful to those who protect and preserve our freedoms. Before you leave, please take a minute to walk by the garden and look at the memorial plaque in front of the tree and notice the flowers are arranged in the layout of the American flag. If you are in active service or are a veteran, please step forward or raise your hand so that we can recognize you. We ask that you wear these pins with the knowledge that you are honored and appreciated for the sacrifices you have made. Thank you. Now I'll read a poem called Appreciation. The techniques and the uniforms may have changed. The weapons may have evolved. But one thing has stayed the same. The bravery of our men and women. Risking their lives for our country and the pride we feel for our boys and girls, it never changes. And words can never explain how we appreciate our veterans. A poem called You Are Remembered. You are always remembered, for we can never forget your courage and sacrifice, so that others can live with hope and without fear. Now on this day and all days, you are remembered. Willingly, you take part in a lopsided deal. We offer so little. Yet you give us much. You are a soldier, a protector, and a hero. There's not a check we can write to pay for all you do. Just know that without a doubt, your country thanks you. If tomorrow all the things are gone, Work for all my life, and I have to start again with just my children and my wife. Then I thank my lucky stars to be living here today, because the flag still stands for freedom, and they can't take that away. And I'm proud to be an American. There ain't no doubt about this land. God bless the USA. From the lakes of Minnesota to the hills of Tennessee, across the lands of Texas. From sea to Shanghai, from Detroit down to Houston, from New York to LA, where there's pride in every American heart, and it's time we stand and say that I'm proud to be an American, where well, at least I know I'm free, and I won't forget the man. Thank you. 
like to thank everyone for coming and a special thank you to the veterans. Chief 507 thanks you. By cutting this ribbon, we officially open the veteran garden. just about everything there is to win in racing. What's next? I'd like more people to know about ER Extra. The emergency room at Harton Regional Medical Center? I just want them to get the best care they can get. That just gets me right here, Mark. <laughs> Maybe you'd like to pay them a visit. <laughs> ER Extra at Harton Regional Medical Center. ER Extra. Extra fast, extra easy, extra great. <laughs> Get your news first, fast, and free with your news leader on 6 every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday nights at 6, 8, and 10 p.m. Local weather, sports, community calendar events, and a comprehensive look at the latest news stories and newsmakers as only a video news broadcast can do. Get it first, fast, and free with news leader on Channel 6, your local information network. When you see the sign, The Main Event, take a close look inside at a hair studio that offers services by some of the best master stylists in Middle Tennessee. These stylists offer a list of services that compete with large city salons, from trendy cuts for men, women, and children, to the latest color techniques, including highlights and bold color accents. Other services offered include permanent hair weaving and relaxing to formal hairstyle for that special occasion. You can also give yourself a very special treat with a full makeover including full body waxing. For your convenience, we are open Monday through Saturday from 9 a.m. until the last client leaves happy. Call and make your appointment at 931-571-8682 or stop by our Telehoma location at 207 North Jackson Street. Pay for yourself at the main event today. How long has it been since you raced a cheetah? Are your tornado creating skills getting rusty? Tired of being the only one in your neighborhood who hasn't built a dinosaur? Sounds like it's time to visit the Hands-On Science Center. The Hands-On Science Center is an indoor science playground. In this museum, please touch is the rule. Join us for weekly science demonstrations on space, lasers, lizards, rocks, and a whole lot more. No two visits are ever the same, so visit often to see our ever-changing exhibits and demonstrations. The Hands-On Science Center, 101 Mitchell Boulevard in Tullahoma. Are you ready? Yep. Click the links. Oh, sweet Lisa, you're so fine, like a very fine wine. Girl, I need you in my life. Will you be my wife? Charter Internet has more bandwidth to support all your devices. Experience the power of Charter on the nation's fastest Internet.
Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, and we're pleased to have joining us again on the set in today's show, Merrill Meadows from the Tullahoma Recreation Department. Of course, Merrill was here a little while ago with the uh, winners of the Soapbox Derby, but you guys have got a lot going on at the Recreation Department right now. Yes, we do, and I'm like a bad penny, I guess. I just keep coming <laughs> back. Um, we, have a, uh, we have our summer solstice party that we're going to have, which is a family fun night on June the 21st, which is a Friday, uh -huh. and that's where we open up the community center to the folks for free from five to eight uh, we'll have swims from six to seven and seven to nine we have to uh -huh. limit that so we don't go over our allotted uh, people right. uh, and then don't forget we have the sesquicentennial this month too at the end of the month over at south jackson civic center and also in maplewood cemetery so if you want more information on that, go to the Tullahoma's website, City of Tullahoma's website. Sesquicentennial. I had forgotten, oh. forgotten about that. Yeah, you're going to see my smiling face there, too. All right. Okay. <laughs> um, but I want to let everybody know, uh, we're doing our diabetes management class mm -hmm. again. And this class is free. Uh, it's six weeks workshop. We're going to meet on Tuesdays from June 11th to the 16th from 530 to 730 at CD Stamps. This helps you become an active participant in the management of your diabetes. Um, you know, you, you don't ha you're not a person who just, you know, you have this diabetes and it's, it's an overwhelming thing or whatever. You know, we're going to teach you how it's not overwhelming, mm -hmm. how you can drop your numbers, you know, learn what an A1C is, uh, learn our little sticky syrupy uh, diagram that we do to make you think about what you're eating. Uh, that's usually the part that sticks with everybody and you got to come to the class to find out what that's about. Um, so uh, this is a free class. Uh, we do have a book that unfortunately we lost our funding for. Uh, so if you want the book, you can purchase the book. You don't need the book specifically, but it's a really great book. Mm -hmm. uh, it's Living with uh, Chronic Conditions. Uh, but this class will cover uh, how to know your meter. We're not going to teach you how to inject or whatever, but we will teach you about meters, the discrepancies in some meters that you have. Uh, so you may you, get are you talking numbers. about meters that check your blood sugar, sugar blood your sugar blood sugar level? yes uh, we talk about food uh, how to menu plan how to count your carbohydrates how to best manage your food diet, your intake, and how to eat it and space it out through the day. Uh, we talk about the stress. We talk about, uh, you know, dealing with, uh, you know, your partner's problems. And this class isn't just for folks with diabetes. If you are with somebody who has diabetes, you're welcome to take this class as well. Mm -hmm. Or if you're a parent and you just want to learn about it because you're hearing about the increase of children with diabetes, not type 1, which is a childhood diabetes, but type 2, which is usually considered adult onset diabetes and Tennessee we are rising highly the most uh, diagnosed cases of type 2 diabetes in the next few years are going to be with kids 20 and under and that is horrific that is unbelievable do you think that's because of unhealthy lifestyle unhealthy lifestyle not exercising not eating right you know folks you know it's easier to go and, and open a package of chips or Doritos or something rather than going and get it a carrot well it's a lot cheaper to buy a couple pound bag of carrots than it is to buy all the chips mm -hmm. and then when you look at the cost on your health you know I mean it just gets so overwhelming and, and when we start pointing out some of this stuff and, and I'm not saying that you should always eat just perfect because I surely don't sure um, but you know we give you the guidelines and if you choose to follow it that's great you now have a road map on how to get there and that's what this class is about it's like getting you on your trip because once you have your diabetes, you have your diabetes. Right. It's not something that you take a pill for and it goes away. You have to manage it for the rest of your life. And when I'm seeing 18-year-olds, 16-year-olds now getting type 2 diabetes, this is something you're going to have for the rest of your life. So, you know, learn how to manage it to keep your medication usage down if you can, uh, you know, uh, to manage it with your doctor so you become the partner. You don't, you know, just say, hey, doctor, I have diabetes, tell me what to do. No, this is now you learning what to do with your diabetes. It's not something that you're going to pass off to somebody else. So th there's a lot more to living with diabetes than just taking the insulin that, that's prescribed oh, to yes. you, obviously. Yes, there is. Uh, we also teach you how to make up an emergency evacuation kit. If if you're a diabetic and you have medication, particularly medication that needs refrigerated, and suddenly we have to evacuate for tornadoes, mm -hmm. which can happen, uh, anything, you know, you need to have that, that grab box that has what all your stuff in it, your medication list. What if you can't speak for yourself? 
Um, I'm surprised to find so many diabetics don't have medic alerts. Uh, and working in the field that I work in, occasionally somebody goes down on the floor and they're out cold. You know, I don't know what has happened to them. Are they in a diabetic shock? Um, has their sugar dropped too low? Or, you know, are they epileptic? Uh, you know, whatever the case may be, are they having a stroke? You know, if you have a condition, whether it's diabetes or not, please wear that medic alert, mm -hmm. either the necklace or the bracelet, or carry a card with you that we can see. How does one get one of those? Uh, you can order, you can get your, your medic alerts from, uh, order them from like any drugstore that I has see. them. You can go to the American Diabetes Association. Or we even give you little cards to carry that are bright yellow Hello, can't miss them, that where you can list all your medications, put down the pertinent information, because a lot of people don't even do that. No matter what your condition, uh -huh. uh, you need to have some sort of an identification on you so that your first responders can help you. Um, if you want to take this diabetes class, and I think everybody should, I think everybody should get an education on it. It's a free class, for goodness sakes. Teresa Myers with Partners for Healing teaches this with me. She's an RN. Mm -hmm. um, we are both educated by the University of Tennessee uh, to teach this program and also through Stanford University. It is a results-driven program. It's free. Uh, Call me at 461-1080 for registration. Uh, we just require that you come to at least four of the meetings. There's a total of six. If you have to miss, I mean, we're not going to come to your house and hunt you down. <laughs> you know, but uh, every class builds on the previous class. So it's pretty, pretty much that you do want to try and make it to all of them because each one builds on the other one. So obviously managing diabetes is really a way of life. And, uh, it is a way of life. That you have to relearn here. It so. sure is. Um, and Bob, what are you giving me? Oh, this is a, what is this? A, uh, a medical alert, yes, yeah. with a little tag in it. This is a medical alert right here that uh, plugs in the computer. Plugs in the computer. Bob gave me this one. Bob took our class. Um, and he should actually say a few words about it, but he won't. Yeah. <laughs> That's why he fought through this in my hands. Uh, but you know, this this will tell us a lot. Mm -hmm. You know, or, or tell the, the the facility that you're taken to if you're unable to speak for yourself. I mean, if your sugar drops down to a 40, you know, I've had people say that guy out there is drunk. Well, no, it wasn't. I know who he is. He's uh -huh. diabetic. He right. just his sugar level dropped. So called 911, and they you know checked it. We just gave him some crackers and things to eat to get him back up, rebounded again. Right. So, um, you know, these things right here can save your life. I don't know every in town who's diabetic but uh, certainly if you're working out at one of our facilities and you have a concern let us know we'll yeah. just kind of keep an eye sure. on you you know or they, they, or they might think you're drunk and take you to jail they when you might need it, yes when you need to go to the hospital well you know a lot of people were driving by this man they just said oh, there's some drunk guy out there falling on the fence yeah hang up clinging to the chain link fence and fortunately a nurse was driving by and she goes I know who that is and so she stopped and she helped him inside the community center so yeah. Um, you know, you, do, you don't always know when your insulin's going to drop or insulin's going to go too high. Okay. All right. If you have questions about this class, it's, and the class is free, as Merrill said, uh, call Merrill at 461-1080 because this is a great opportunity to learn how to manage your life a lot better here in case yeah. you happen to have diabetes. Yeah, uh, and it's free. And it's free. <laughs> All right. Merrill, thank you so much for thank coming you. by. It's always a pleasure to see you. We'll be right back in just a moment with more living right after this. Looking for a unique gift for someone special, or perhaps something just for yourself? Then you need to check out Grady Mac Denim Company, right here in the heart of Tullahoma. Grady Mac features the full line of men's and women's Lucky brand apparel. Stop in and check out our denim production line. Grady Mac offers a full line of outdoor sporting apparel, and much more. And check out our custom fly fishing equipment, fine art, and fine sports memorabilia. There's something for everyone at Grady Mac Denim Company, the most unique store in Tullahoma. a Tennessee vacation? It starts off like any road trip. And then, boom, adventure and thrills everywhere you look, which happens to be some of the most beautiful scenery in the country. Music here, history there, and all kinds of green in between. Come relax and unwind, or bring the crowd for some stargazing, or stargazing. Whatever you do, come hungry and expect an awesome soundtrack. 
It's all right here in Tennessee. We're playing your song. For a free vacation guide, visit tnvacation.com. The Charter Triple Play lets you experience TV, internet, and phone the way you want with no contracts. Hooked on HD? Now over 100 HD channels available. Movie lover? Get 10,000 on-demand movies and shows. 1,500 in HD, including movies in 3D. Missing your favorite shows? Record and watch TV with DVR service for four rooms and over 780 hours of storage space. Get Charter TV for $29.99 a month. Photo fiend? Music fan? Video streamer? Switch to super fast Charter Internet and do it all with the bandwidth to support all your devices. At 30 megabits per second, Charter Internet is 10 times faster than the phone company's DSL. Get Charter Internet for $29.99 a month. Want more talk for less? Charter Phone has unlimited long distance calling with no added fees like the phone company charges. Get Charter Phone for $29.99 a month. The new Charter Triple Play. TV, internet, and phone for just $29.99 a month each when bundled. Call 855-81T-PLAY now. All right, folks, we're back. And I went to an event the other day at uh, St. Paul the Apostle Catholic Church. And it was their final graduation of their school that has been serving our community in this area in uh, grade school up through the eighth grade for the last 60 years. And uh, the population of the, of the school has gotten small to the point that it's not a viable thing to do anymore. And so I went to their final graduation and then had an interview with Father about what the possibilities might be in the future for the, for the school at St. Paul the Apostle. And here's some video on that. There's a service being held this morning for the closing of the St. Paul School at St. Paul the Apostle Catholic Church in Tullahoma. And it's a school that's been open for years in our city, uh, teaching grades K through eight. And here's the entrance to the school. It's been used for years and years, ever since I was a child, and that's a long time ago.
I'm glad that I had the opportunity to go to St. Paul's. My mom and more siblings graduated from St. Paul's, and most of my cousins are living to home and graduated from this school also. also. Except Jay. I'm sad that he would not finish out his school year. Uh, I like how Ms. Hart made this last year exciting. I'm thankful to my great teachers that prepared me for high school. I'm here with Father Classic at St. Paul, and Father, what is the what is the future of the school here at St. Paul? Well, I mean, the future in terms of an active school is going to be in hiatus beginning this summer, and we we're not going to reopen in the fall just for a lack of enough students to run an effective school. But everything will be in place, all the buildings and uh, everything that we would need run a school and hopefully that time will come soon. School's been open since uh, fall of 1954. 54 so a great history here and it's been a great uh, great part of our community and we want to thank you and St. Paul for all that all that you've done in the service of our community and hope that uh, there's a fresh start right around the corner. We're looking forward to it. Thank you father. All right thank you thank you for coming. I thought the Red Cross does Katrina. They don't help single moms. Hi. What happened to our house last year it about your birthday? It flooded and the water flooded out. Yeah. The Red Cross mm -hmm. arranged the hotel for us. They gave me that break, that leverage, to be able to get it together and uh, take care of them, you know? I feel like we've come full circle. Like that. Mm -hmm. This is how I'll do it. There you go. Partners for Healing provides medical care to the working uninsured of Coffee, Franklin, and Moore counties. We are in Tullahoma from 8 to 5, Monday through Thursdays, and in Manchester on Fridays from 8 to 12. We provide primary medical care and offer an in-house disease management program. My name is Rosie Mitchell, and I would just like to say I am blessed to have partners in my life. Please call 455-5014 for more information. Thank you for being one of our Partners for Healing. A salute to the Never Wasters, the Coupon Clippers, Switch Flippers, One Last Drop of Milk Drippers, the Thoughtfully Thrifty, and the Just Plain Cheap. Charter respects your economic IQ and honors it with a phone service worthy of your ever-watchful wallet. Charter Phone, just $19.99 a month for real monthly savings for fabulously frugal folks like you. Switch to Charter Phone and get unlimited local and long distance and 13 calling features with no extra fees like the phone company charges you. Well, welcome back here. It's just living, just plain living. It's Marilyn Ewing, and it's always a pleasure to bring Shelbyville and Bedford County back into this area. It is Dawn Holly. She is the director for the United Way of Bedford County. Certainly appreciate seeing you and oh, you coming by. Great to be here. Talking Thank with you. us and such. Of course, we are gearing up for the big, uh, oh my goodness. It is just a big Thank adventure. Uh, Marilyn, it's fired up and fit. Fired up. We're fired up about know, it. We I want know. everybody else to be Absolutely. too. Absolutely. Well, it seems like they are because <laughs> just talking to you, uh, 
the entries have escalated, just skyrocketed from yeah. last year. Last year was our first year. Yep. We wanted to try something different. Yep. Um, most people are going to be familiar with things like Warrior Dash and the Mud Run, and we just didn't have anything like that in Bedford right. County. Yeah. And um, we also promote this as a health initiative Absolutely. as well. I mean, Absolutely. it's a fundraiser, it but we want people to get up off that couch and oh, have yeah. fun uh, while getting fed. Uh, but last year was our first year. We had 150 total right. registrations, right. and this year we are closer to 500. Oh my goodness! Yes. Now That's that incredible. that doesn't even include yeah. the one mile kids course yeah. that we added this year, yeah. and so we we have registrations for that as well. Absolutely. So we are really excited with the turnout that we're, we're going to talk about. Um, the obstacles that you have there yes. and such. But let's talk more about that kid zone. This is something new this year. It is. Uh, are there obstacles there for the kids? We do. I, their course is one mile, okay. where the 5K, of course, is 3.1 exactly. miles. Uh, so they have a one mile course, but they actually have eight obstacles. Okay. And that is a lot of obstacles yeah. along a one mile course. Okay. Okay. And so uh, some of their obstacles will actually be what the adults use. Mm -hmm. And then some of them are specifically targeted yeah. toward their age yeah. group. Absolutely. And so, you know, instead of the 10-foot wall, they'll have a 5-foot wall. Yeah. They'll yeah. have a different set of tires yeah. to, to obstacle through. Yeah. Uh, but they'll still be able to go down the the 70 foot slip and oh. slide and they'll still be able to do the mud pit and some of the right. obstacles that adults are Absolutely. able to do as I think well. I'll stick with the uh, kids thing. I, okay. I think I can handle that. Come out and join us. You we'll know? let you do the one mile kids course. <laughs> very good, very good. But there are a lot of obstacle, obstacles for the adults and that type of thing as we well. We have so. about 15 obstacles. 15. And wow. last year we had about 10 to 12 and we added to those. We have a balance yeah. beam and some t another tire obstacle yeah. and um, we wow. have an A-frame I mean, a log obstacle as well. I've never seen anything like it, but the Tennessee Fire and Codes Academy has been wonderful Absolutely. to work with. Absolutely. And, so and, and that's excited. one of the beauty uh, parts of this whole thing because you're having it at the Tennessee Fire and, and Codes Academy, uh, just kind of like in Deason, Tennessee. The layout on this beautiful uh, piece of land just makes it perfect. Well, it is gorgeous, yeah, first of all. I mean, the um, I had only been there for like tough challenges and things that they had for firefighters. Right, exactly. Exactly. And uh, my husband's a firefighter, mm -hmm. so I'd been on the campus, but not past a certain exactly. point. Exactly. And it is just beautiful. Oh. A lot of acreage. Yeah. We start out on some asphalt. We yeah. go into a gravel area. We go into a wooded area, wow. open field area, <laughs> and the landscape is just mm -hmm. gorgeous. Absolutely. Absolutely. Lots of people, along with yourself, get together. You guys plan this uh, so well, and I'm sure from year to year. Yes, ma'am. Uh, planning stages just in We crucial. start planning around December, yeah. um, getting our obstacles together and our sponsors and yeah. partners yeah. and all of that. Right. And I simply could not do it by myself. Yeah. I'm a one-person staff and sure. at United Way, um, so we depend heavily on volunteers. And I have about a committee of 10 people mm -hmm. that are just fabulous yeah. to work with. And yeah. we all know what we need to do, and we work together mm -hmm. um, to where we know who needs to do what and who's responsible for contacting whom and confirming yeah, whatever yes. and uh, anyone who's planned activities knows how this yeah, goes and, and how much you have to get confirmed as far as volunteers oh, yeah. and sponsors and stuff. Absolutely, absolutely. But we have about 10 members that uh, that group is just phenomenal to work, mm -hmm. work with, mm -hmm. and uh, they've put their whole heart and soul into planning this event, and we're, right. we're excited. Absolutely. Now, it's coming up this Saturday, June 8th. Um, at this last few moments of this thing, yes. there are uh, Participation is still available. I mean, walk-ups. I'm sure you're. It is you're online walk -up. registration is no longer available. Oh, but if okay. you're interested, you can still go to our website. It's fired up in, in is in Nancy yes. fit mm -hmm. org and check it out. Look yeah. at the obstacles. We have pictures from last oh, year. Okay. And um, but we're only taking walk-ups. Our online right. registration ended this past Saturday, right. which would guarantee you a shirt. Yes. So you can still register. We can't really guarantee a shirt for mm -hmm. you. First come, first serve if right. we have extras. Exactly. Um, but we certainly hope that you'll still come and yeah. Have fun with us. Absolutely. It's just so much fun. And the weather is going to be great, I understand. It so, is gorgeous. Yeah, it's be 82 great. degrees right. for a high, no rain. Oh, that's beautiful. So that's it's beautiful. a beautiful weather. Now, there will be uh, water stations along the way. There There's emergency be. personnel. So Absolutely. nothing to worry about there. Nothing to worry about. Okay. So emergency personnel, if something happens, we have people on hand to assist you again to water stations. So Absolutely. we know that people will get a little, uh, a little yeah. thirsty yeah. along that mm -hmm. three-mile course. 
but what makes it unique, and people have asked me this, do I have to go to do every obstacle. Right. That's not true. It is not true. Yeah. If you want to walk the entire thing and not do any obstacles, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. just come and be a part of Absolutely. it. Absolutely. And so you can do some of the obstacles. You don't have to do any of the mm -hmm. obstacles. You mm -hmm. can run, you can walk, you can crawl, just yeah. whatever you want to do. Absolutely. It's, we Absolutely. just want you to be there. Quickly, these for walk-ups, how, uh, how is that handled? Uh, as far as getting into, mm -hmm. yeah. we'll have registration. Okay. Okay. Uh, registration walk up. Okay. Registration is sixty dollars. Okay. So, okay. Uh, just walk up, go to the registration table, and we'll get you registered. Absolutely. Twenty one sixty one Unionville Decent Road. Road. So, if you're putting that yeah. in your GPS, twenty one sixty one Unionville Decent Road. That address is Bell Buckle. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. yes, yeah. Bell Buckle, Tennessee, oh, and uh, we yeah. hope that you'll join us. Absolutely. Well, good luck on that. Uh, right. I know it's uh, very successful. It's going to be. So uh, we wish you well yes, all of the wonderful things that you're doing. Thank there you in so United much. United Way. Okay, Thank she you. is the director for United Way of Bedford County. Dawn Hawley has been our guest on this particular segment. Thank you for watching. Back in a moment. It's time to celebrate. You don't have to drive to the city for your party supplies anymore. The Celebrate Party Store has opened at 1802 North Jackson Street in Tullahoma to service all your party needs. Over 300 varieties of balloons, party favors, gift wrap, boxes, bags, bows, plates, napkins, tablecloths, and cups of all colors. Catering supplies from utensils to serving dishes, Wilton cake decorating supplies, and chocolate melts. Wedding, baby shower, bachelorette party, and themed birthday party supplies from any sport to Hollywood. From a Wow to Hello Kitty, Celebrate has it all. Hats, masks, patriotic decorations, pinatas, confetti cannons, and full-size celebrity cutouts, and a whole wall of greeting cards at 50% off. Celebrate is home-owned and operated by John and Karen Orr, who invite you to come in and see what they have. You won't believe your eyes, because they have it all. Start your celebration at Celebrate, 1802 Suite 820, North Jackson Street, Tullahoma, 931-455-5550. <laughs> Charter Internet has the bandwidth to support more devices than anyone else in the market. So everyone can do their own thing, whether it's watching puppy videos or creating an all-powerful command center to mastermind the complete domination of the world, the universe, and... Ooh, ice cream! Get 30 megabits per second for only $30 and let it all in. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, and it is my pleasure to be uh, having us a special guest today. Uh, my colleague on uh, News Leader on Six, uh, six uh, Chip Ramsey, who's here about an unrelated, so not, not about News Leader. Yeah, we're not talking about anything. We're, actually, we are talking about something news, newsworthy. Yeah, well, uh, it is. And we are going to have it on the news. Uh, mm -hmm. Music Tree Fest. Uh, mm -hmm. Second year, number two, 2013. We're going uh, going live with that June 7th through 11th. That's this Friday mm -hmm. uh, through I think what's that, Tuesday. Yeah. Um, and uh, right on the heels of Bonnaroo, right on the right right on the eve of Bonnaroo, mm -hmm. uh, we're going to be uh, doing that at six venues in Manchester. Uh, so uh, we've got a we've got a huge lineup, Jim. I mean, it's it's the type of music these musicians many of them have that quality to be on stage at a Bonnaroo festival uh, and so we hope to, to, to see that happen and also grow what we're doing here mm -hmm. with Music Tree. So you know it's, it's probably possible that some of these acts that are coming in here for this Music Tree thing might eventually evolve oh, to definitely. Bonnaroo, Bonnaroo definitely. stage. And, and it, that's, part of the, the, that's part of the vision behind it. Um, uh, the vision behind Music Tree really is a uh, it's, it's driving tourism dollars into Manchester. Mm -hmm. um, Bonnaroo in its 13th year now has, has done a lot of that economic impact wise has been very broad uh, regionally, um, but uh, some, somehow during, during uh, not just during the time of before Bonnaroo, right after, but uh, you know, local local folks had complained that there was nobody coming in from the festival, that, like, like they expected. Perhaps that would evolve into because the festival is very self-contained. So, so um, you you weren't getting quite the overflow you'd like to have well, into yeah, the city of Manchester. There, yeah, it definitely. I mean, and a lot of people get 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 a little fright uh, with that too. They they still think back from the first year when there was a parking lot in Manchester, right. in Bonnaroo, and and of course that has since been long resolved. 
Uh, I think some of the press uh, uh, in other parts of the of the mid state like to portray that uh, because it's uh, driving people away from Bonnaroo towards uh, other events uh, at another large uh, state mm -hmm. capital city, uh, maybe Nashville. There is an uh, event in CMA, Nashville, right? right there. There's a CMA thing, but but that's all good. But uh, but so I think there's there's been a lot of that hype around that. But Music Tree is actually we want to sort of create a festival atmosphere around Bonnaroo. We've, we've actually kind of tagged this uh, sort of tongue-in-cheek wise as the tailgate party uh, mm -hmm. to Bonnaroo. So, um, so that, that along with, with uh, that in its own self, and, and again the festival is going to be in six different venues. Uh, we have uh, uh, our main stage and of course Miller Lite being a, is a huge sponsor. This would not have happened without Mid-South Distributors and Miller Lite. Those guys have been amazing. Rick Gurwey up there has been so generous and uh, of course my partner, uh, one of my partners in crime with this, <coughs> Ryan French, is an alderman in Manchester. Mm -hmm. He's done an amazing effort to get uh, the tourism committee in Manchester on board with this, the city of Manchester behind it, and uh, really make it a, a centerpiece uh, of the town of something something really cool that we you know what we do, and it centers around music. Bonnaroo is a is a is a no brainer, uh, or it's a no brainer with Bonnaroo being in our in our in our backyard and being such a national international brand. So. Yeah, I, you know, since we're, we're this is the second event, if I remember correctly, last year was pretty, it was hugely successful. Yeah, it went, went really well. We, we planned it in about three and a half months. Mm -hmm. uh, we conceived it over a conversation. It started out as one, is had had sort of one uh, idea behind it of, of what, you know, it really wasn't a festival when the initial conversation was started. It was really more of a kind of a campaign kickoff for, uh, for, for Mr. French, but uh, it evolved into, well, let's do a, a uh, let's draw some business into into the vin into some some places in Manchester. Mm -hmm. So uh, again, we've got some fantastic venues that are going to be hosting these bands. Uh, Coffee Cafe right on the square. Mm -hmm. uh, we're going to have a massive stage uh, set up, a prof professional stage uh, that's going to be set up with that and blocking off part of the street right there in front of I believe it's McLean Street right in front of uh, right in front of the cafe there mm -hmm. and. Um, so that's going on, and uh, 41 South Bar and Grill, uh, right on the Bo uh, Hillsborough Boulevard, they're going to have a they're going to be a massive centerpiece of this. Beans Creek Winery has been our second year partner, and and also uh, co both Coffee Cafe and 41, and basically all of our partners are back in with us from last year. Uh, 41 Bar and Grill is going to have a great lineup. Um, like I said, Beans Creek is going to have some fantastic venue, uh, musicians, more singer-songwriter, open acoustic. I'm sure Tom, Tom uh, Brown might have some wine there. I don't know, maybe. <laughs> uh, and um, let's see who else we got. Uh, the, uh, the, 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 what everyone knows around Manchester is Vise Lounge. Uh, that, is, that has been incorporated into our festival this year. So, Vise Lounge. Yeah, that, that's, uh, that's, we got kind of the honky-tonk side of this thing going on with it, too. So that's, uh, that gets into the grit. Family Music Center mm -hmm. uh, is another partner. They also have a congruent uh, um, festival going on, so more family-oriented stuff, uh, singer-songwriter type music, uh, acoustic, ma mainly acoustic sets going on right on the Hillsborough Boulevard also at the Family Music Center. Uh, and then our other venue is Mickey's uh, Bar and Grill. Everyone knew that formerly as uh, uh, Dewey and Eva's. Dewey and Eva's, uh, yeah. They're going to have a stand-up uh, comedy tent there, or, or, or house there, when I say a tent, but it's going to be a com our comedy tent, uh, so to speak. And some several musicians will be playing there also. There'll be some spillover, some new new musicians. 130 musicians are That's coming, unbelievable. coming to yeah. Manchester. They're going to be staying in the area. Uh, they've come here on their own nickel, um, and, then, and of course, Music Tree is a nonprofit uh, event. Uh, and, and I understand everybody that works in this is volunteers, right? Pretty much, yeah, yeah. We've we've not been paid anything for this. Yeah, so, I mean, right. Uh, the Saturday Independent is producing a, 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 a two magazine products that'll uh, that'll sort of uh, feature the event and talk, mm -hmm. you know, publicity wise uh, to get some some word out about it. Miller Lite has come huge through uh, through uh, come through huge with us with some billboards. Uh, all over the Interstate 24, downtown Nashville. Uh, so it's going to be a big event. MusicTreeFest.com. Go check it out and go look at the lineups that are coming and listen to these musicians. These are some up and coming, fantastic acts. You won't want to miss it. And it's free. It's right. free. Unbelievable.
Unbelievable. All right, and that's kicking off uh, this Friday. This Friday. Friday. Yep. So, uh, and runs through Tuesday. It runs through Tuesday, runs through June 7th through 11th in Manchester. All right, so don't wait for Bonnaroo to party. No, man. Get party get, party get, starts Friday. Get, get, your, get your groove on now early. All yeah. right. <laughs> okay. All right. Chip, uh, you'll be seeing Chip, of course, on News Leader on 6, and we'll be right back in just a moment with more living right after these messages. Here at the International Dateline, charter scientists are bringing you tomorrow's technology today. Good morning, Doctor. Good morning. Like the nation's most powerful internet and TV in HD with free DVR. Record your favorite shows to watch on your schedule. Anytime in the future. Good morning, Doctor. Get a free DVR when you bundle and let it all in. They tell it, how long was that snake? Was that, that was a snake skin. Had to be 15 feet long. In, in, scared the fool out In your me. like utility room at in your house. In my out. utility room. Oh my in goodness! The oh my goodness! So I have been very respectful of that space. Of that space. In fact, I have not stepped foot in it again. Uh, Dave, older. who helps me out a lot, says, uh, "If you're always aware that there could be a snake about, you won't see him." But as soon as you stop thinking about it, he's going to show he up. <laughs> so I'm hoping it's a black that's a, snake. That's a scary thought. Well, I used to chuck corn in the corn crib when I was a kid, and Daddy kept a black snake in the corn crib. And so I spent my whole entire time, I'd be there watching for the snake. But, you know, there's good and bad snakes. Yeah. Okay. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. By the I way, know. folks, don't forget uh, there's a fundraiser for Ben's Jordan, who's uh, been quite ill, and that's right. coming up this uh, Saturday at uh, Grace Baptist five, Church. Grace Baptist it's, Church, it's five to eight. Five to five eight. eight. And it's right. uh, Plater's Barbecue. Everybody needs to go out there and support that is some our buddy good barbecue, Ben's. by the way. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, Ben's, Ben's uh, needs our help and has done a lot for this community for many years. So let's back Ben. Back and support him. Okay. Okay. Are we done? We Who knows where, how we're ending this today? <laughs> I think we're ending it. All right. We're gone. It's over. See you, right. folks. Bye-bye. <laughs>